Hello everyone and welcome to TVM Academy. This is VARC 100 series a free practice course for CAT verbal preparation. RC number 12, the link was shared on our telegram group. It was also sent to your registered email IDs. Okay, let's begin. So this was an interesting passage in paragraph one. The author tells us that the naked mole rat species may be the first identified extremely charitable vertebrate society uh, parallel to you social or charitable insects like uh, bees and ants. So it might be the first charitable vertebrate society. Okay. In the second paragraph, author explains the behavior of the queen of uh, this colony, naked mole rat colony. Uh, he tells us that uh, queens are the only reproducing females and they exert control over colony. He also tells us that though the social hierarchy in naked mole rat colony is similar to that in other you so in you social insects like ants and bees. So there's a queen and there are worker uh, bees or worker animals, worker uh, members of the society. And there are, then there are, you know, uh, members that uh, defend the colony, soldier members. So the social hierarchy is similar in naked mole rat colonies and uh, insects, some use social insects. The basis for division of labor are different. So while in insect societies, the division of labor is done on the basis of uh, body shape and uh, behavior and other factors. In naked mole rats, division of labor is done primarily on the basis of reproductive status and uh, body size rather than body shape. So these are the differences between the uh, basis upon which division of labor is done in these two colonies. Okay. In the third paragraph, author tells you that naked mole rats are different, uh, are also different from other cooperatively breeding vertebrates. So there are other vertebrate animals, vertebrate species that breed cooperatively, but the exclusivity, uh, the reproductive exclusivity of queen is what makes naked mole rat colonies different. All right. So basically, basically, uh, other members of the colony sacrifice so that the colony can survive, it can thrive, and there can be peace in the colony. So there's a this sacrifice uh, um, uh, on part of other members of the colony in naked mole rat colonies. In other cooperatively breeding vertebrates, that is not the case. This is what the passage is all about. Okay. Which of the following most accurately states the main idea of the passage? Now, please note, author begins the passage by drawing a parallel between uh, naked mole rat colonies and ant colonies or bees colonies. So, so basically, he is telling you that in vertebrates also, first species probably that displays extreme form of charity. Uh, because the other members sacrifice their reproduction or, uh, you know, they, they sacrifice breeding uh, so that, uh, so that the queen can do so. And, uh, the colony can survive, etc. So extreme form of charity can be observed. The first, first vertebrate society has been identified that displays that might display this extreme form of charity, which is heretofore, you know, uh, known, uh, to be displayed by ants and bees, such, such you social insects. So what is the main idea? Let's see. Option A, naked mole rat colonies are the only known examples of cooperatively breeding vertebrate societies. Wait. Last paragraph makes it abundantly clear that cooperative breeding has evolved many times in vertebrates. So there are other cooperatively breeding vertebrates as well. They are not the only ones factually incorrect. 
ऑप्शन इज आउट नेकेड मोल रेट कॉलोनीज एग्जीबिट सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेस्ड ऑन अ रिजिड कास्ट सिस्टम वेट सेकेंड पैराग्राफ इंसेक्ट सोसाइटीज आर बेस्ड ऑन रिजिड कास्ट सिस्टम सो बीज एंड एक्सेट्रा यू सोशल इंसेक्ट सोसाइटी ऑन दी अदर हैंड ऑन दी अदर हैंड द नेकेड मोल रेट सोसाइटीज आर बेस्ड primarily on reproductive status rather than the rigid caste system so this is also factually incorrect opposite to what the passage says behavior in the naked mole rat colonies may well be a close vertebrate analog to behavior in eu social insect societies absolutely correct first paragraph that's the theme of discussion that's the central idea main idea of discussion so their behavior their altruistic behavior their charitable behavior may be parallel to that displayed by eu social insects such as ants and bees the mating habits of naked, naked mole rats differ from those of any other vertebrate species now wait extreme modifier it was mentioned that there are some uh, commonalities or some points of similarity between other cooperatively breeding vertebrates and naked mole rats so the division of labor is there also this uh, licon pictus may also have some similarities because uh, in this particular species reproduction is not dominated by a pair of breeders but one exclusive a single female so this is point of similarity between uh, naked mole rat and licon pictus or other cooperatively breeding vertebrates for that matter so to suggest that the mating habits of naked mole rats are differ from any other vertebrate species is an extreme statement so option d is not correct also the point in the passage is not about the differences between naked mole rats and other vertebrates but similarities between naked mole rat and e and eu social insects so that's the point of focus option d goes out question number 2 it can be inferred from the passage that the performance of tasks in naked mole rat colonies differs from the task performance in eu social insect societies okay in which of the following ways so a uh, second paragraph is going to help us option a in naked mole rat colonies all tasks are performed cooperatively now wait we don't know about other tasks we only know about uh, reproductive tasks tasks or breeding tasks uh are all tasks performed cooperatively in the naked mole rat colonies we don't know also is this a point of difference between naked moles and uh, eu social insects we don't know that either so this is alien extreme we don't know whether this is a point of difference between naked moles and other social and eu social insects okay in naked mole rat colonies the performance of tasks is less rigidly determined by body shape so there was the sentence in the passage in eu social insect societies behavior body shape and physiology are important factors which help in division of labor on the other hand in naked mole rat societies on the other hand the division of labor happens primarily on the basis of reproductive status body size and not body shape and perhaps age so clearly in naked moles the performance of task is not divided on the basis of body shape it is less rigidly determined by body shape option b should be the correct answer in naked mole rat colonies breeding is limited to the largest animals wait tempting choice it's not limited to the largest animals it is limited to largest uh, it is it is limited to queen of the colony not even largest animals they are not allowed to breed it was written that second paragraph the queen is the largest member largest member and other adult female neither ovulate nor breed so they are not allowed reproduction so it is not limited to largest animals but only the largest animal the largest uh, member of the colony which is the queen so c is factually incorrect tempting choice go option d in eu social insect societies eu social insect societies reproduction is limited to a single female now please note this is a tempting choice again 
this is factually correct you social insect societies reproduction is limited to a single female yes but is it the point of difference between you social insects and naked moles no it's rather a point of similarity it's rather a point of similarity because in naked mole colonies also reproduction is limited to a single female so it's a point of similarity rather than a point of difference and question was about the point of difference so option d is also wrong correct answer b question 3 according to the passage which of the following is a supposition rather than a fact okay concerning the queen in the naked mole colonies so uh, we are to find out the supposition somewhere author might have uh, you know assumed something or supposed something or hypothetically said something we are supposed to find out that part option a she is the largest member of the colony no it is a fact rather than a supposition author has clearly mentioned that the queen is the largest member is the largest member which means it's not a supposition it's a fact she exerts chemical control over the colony yes there was a word used there presumably chemical control which means this is a supposition rather than a fact author uses the word presumably so he is presuming is supposing that there is some sort of chemical control by the queen she mates with more than one one male uh, not known it's neither a supposition nor a fact we don't know whether it whether the queen mates with multiple males or not so beyond the scope of the passage out of scope she attains her status through aggression this is a fact again this is not a supposition author has clearly mentioned that after the queen dies there is ferocious battle violent fighting happens one sees violent fighting so it is a it, the author has presented this point as a fact rather than a, a supposition or a or a speculation so this also goes out fact fact neither a fact neither a fact nor a supposition beyond the scope of the passage question 4 the passage supports which of the following inferences about breeding among licon pictus okay now it was written that most cooperatively breeding vertebrates except licon pictus are dominated by a pair of breeders which means licon pictus is not dominated by a pair of breeders okay this is what we are looking for uh, it is their species is not dominated by a pair of breeders probably it is dominated by a single uh, breeding female again okay option a the largest female in the social group does not maintain reproductive status cannot be inferred cannot be inferred such a point has never been made about licon pictus that the largest female is not uh, the reproductive member an individual's ability to breed is related primarily to its rate of growth where does that come from this point is never mentioned about uh, licon pictus probably it was mentioned about naked mole colonies but not about licon pictus so wrong attribution of idea to licon pictus breeding is the only task performed by the breeding female how do we know that it is the only task not to mention again extreme answer choice breeding is not dominated by a single pair of dogs correct in other vertebrates other cooperatively breeding vertebrates it is dominated by a pair of breeders but exception is licon pictus which means licon pictus is not dominated by a pair of dogs it should be pair of dogs actually last question according to the passage naked mole colonies may differ from all other known vertebrate groups all other vertebrate groups in which of the following ways now please note question is not about the differences between naked mole and other cooperatively breeding vertebrates it's about all other vertebrates difference between naked mole and all other vertebrates therefore the source of the question is not the third paragraph it is rather the first paragraph and the point made in the first paragraph is that until now until recently scientists did not know of a close vertebrate parallel to the extreme form of altruism observed in you social insects such as ants and bees now they know which means other vertebrates do not show extreme form of altruism or charity naked mole uh, species does 
it can also actually be seen from the third paragraph though it is not the source direct source third paragraph also tells us that other vertebrate species which cooperatively breed do not show uh, this kind of charity where all other members sacrifice their reproductive status or their rep their reproductive activities just because they want to support the queen so or or the colony as a whole so naked mole is different in that there is reproductive exclusivity with the queen and that is the extreme form of charity shown by other members of the colony that is what the point of difference is correct answer has to be a naked moles exhibit extreme form of altruism or charity that's the point of difference between them and other vertebrates naked mole rats are cooperatively breeders there are many others so that's not the point of difference naked moles are cooperative breeders other cooperative breeders are also there so not the point of difference among naked mole rats many males are permitted to breed with a single dominant female now this is not again the point of difference it could be factually correct but this is not the point of difference between naked moles and other vertebrates uh, in other vertebrates also it is possible that uh, many males are permitted to breed with a with the single female yeah we don't know that among naked mole rats different tasks are performed at different times in an individual's life quite the opposite to what the passage says passage tells us that regardless of age regardless of age growth rates may influence the length of time that an individual performs a task so it is a growth rate rather than age therefore different tasks are performed at different times in an individual's life would mean that at different ages uh naked mole rats perform different tasks which is exactly the opposite to what this line says option d is out as well hope you like the passage you enjoyed it keep liking the videos keep sharing and keep spreading word about tvm thank you very much cheers to learning